Hooker's Blades. Hey everybody, back again, and today we are making some marshmallow roasting and hot dog weenie roaster sticks out of some round bar. Let's get to the forge. So the first thing I'm gonna do is draw out what will eventually become the tines for our forks. I'm just gonna create a long flat section about three to five inches in length on each of these bars. And we're gonna get down to about a quarter inch thick before we cut these in half. The most important part of all of this is to keep them nice and straight and even so when you go to cut them with the angle grinder you can get nice even clean cuts and not have more mass on one side or the other. And as you can see here I'm just going to rip them all right down the middle with an angle grinder. While I'm cutting these I'm making sure to stop just short of the shoulders I created. Uh, before they draw down into that taper just to make sure that there's enough mass in that section when I spread these to where they're not going to be fragile and they're not going to develop cracks. Now that I've got them all split, I can begin to spread these guys out so that way I can draw them into a thinner profile and get some nice points put on them. Now one at a time, I'm just going to work each of the tines until they're nice tapered points with a nice sharp end that I can then grind into a really sharp point for punching into hot dogs. What I do is I use the hardy hole and the princhal hole to measure my distance to make sure that the length on these tines are going to end up the same. And with this last one being done, we can run over to the vise with a pair of scroll tongs and bend these up and turn the points up as well so that way we have our nice little forks going on. I know it's hard to see on camera because of how much of an overcast day it was, but you do want to make sure that your metal's pretty hot when you're working these things since they are so thin and you don't want to create a bunch of small micro fractures or accidentally shear your metal. Now back over to the anvil, we're just going to flatten out a small section on the end opposite the forks on each one of these so that way we can then bend them over into a nice little scroll uh, for the handle. Once the scroll's been established, we will go ahead and flatten out the sides to make it nice and clean and then bend it over and make a loop style handle. And this will do for each and every one of them. We're not trying to be exactly precise. I do want each one of these handles to be slightly different in size, each one of the scrolls slightly different in size. That way each one has kind of its own personality even though they're the same look in terms of the way they were built. One important thing to note when you're doing scrolls, if you want them facing the right direction, is always have the roll the opposite direction that you're going to bend the loop of the handle. So that way the scroll always ends up rolled up in the front of the handle, rather than being rolled up against the handle. Thank you. 
Now, just for a beauty effect, I'm going to go ahead and square up about six to eight inches on each one of these um, in order to make a nice little twist. Uh, some of them are gonna have sharper corners, some of them are gonna have more round corners, and I'm gonna twist them a different number of times for each one. That way they all end up kind of unique and each one has its own personality like we were talking about with the handles. But without further ado, after a quick trip to the Scotch-Brite and a little bit of grinding on the points to get them nice and sharp, these are all finished up and ready for service as a marshmallow weenie roaster hot dog sticks. So we've got our marshmallow sticks all finished up. Um, hot dog, poker, wiener roaster, all that stuff. Little forward bent hooks with a scroll and loop style handle and a small twist on each one. Each one of the twists is in a slightly different area and slightly different shapes. So that way they're unique. Just like the, top, the tines up top here, they're all similar, but they all vary ever so slightly. And same thing goes for the handles. They're all similar, but they all vary slightly. Um, this is so for two reasons. People in my uh, family, they like different lengths. They like different sizes of handles. This way everybody can find one that fits their hands and their length of choice just correct. But yeah. If you guys like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe and like and all that jazz. And don't forget to check out my Etsy store if you're looking for a custom blade or uh, other things. I am going to be posting tools like this here in the future. I'm going to be making a, a few fire pokers and things like that for the shop. Um, these are ones I'm doing for me and as a tutorial series to teach you guys, if you're blacksmiths out there, how you can do this. Or if you're looking into getting into blacksmithing to see how it's done. But until next time, God bless. Stay sharp out there. Check out our Etsy store if you're looking for a custom sharp object.